Hi guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about Episode 8 of Season 15 of Supernatural, Our Father Who Aren't in Heaven. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. With that said, here's my review of Episode 8 of Season 15 of Supernatural, Our Father Who Aren't in Heaven. When I saw the dead bodies and the scared waitress in the opening scene, I was wondering who caused that, so when it was revealed that it was Chuck, I thought, well, that makes sense. And since he killed all those people, I didn't blame the waitress for being scared. Chuck has definitely gotten used to killing people. I liked how Dean, Sam, and Castiel had Donatello to try and help them think of a way to trap Chuck. I really love Donatello, so when Chuck was possessing him, I was really worried that he was going to kill him. So it was good that he didn't, he just told them to drop it. But obviously they weren't going to do that. And when Donatello asked if anything with Sam, Dean, and Castiel could be easy, all I could think of was, no, no it can't. Right when the voice told the demons to stop fighting Sam, Dean, and Castiel, I was thinking, is that who I think it is? And it was, Rowena is the queen of hell. I was so happy that she came back because I thought it was way too soon for her to die and leave the show. And I also really love that she's the queen of hell. No one deserves it more. When Lilith told Michael that Chuck wanted to see him, but he wouldn't go, I was wondering what Michael would do to prevent Lilith from forcing him to go with her. So when he killed her, all I thought was, well, that works. I didn't blame Michael for not believing Dean, Sam, and Castiel when they told him what Chuck has been doing. Michael's loyal to his father. I did like how Adam tried to get Michael to see that he might not really know his father, but Michael wouldn't believe it until Castiel showed him what Chuck has done. When Sam and Eileen went to where Eileen's friends said that there were vampires, I was wondering if it was a trap. And it was. Chuck was pretending to be Eileen's friend. And since Dean and Castiel are going to purgatory, it'll be a while before they realize that Sam and Eileen are in trouble. But I was glad that before Michael left, Dean was able to tell Adam that he was sorry for what they did to him. Thanks for watching, guys! If you saw the episode, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And if you want to see any of my previous Supernatural reviews, check out the playlist. And if you want to see any of my future videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!